Good morning, card beauties. RJ, back with another video. Let's get to it. A little heads up for you. It is Saturday evening as I am filming. And uh, as I film every... Um, I film all of my videos uh, the weekend before release. So this one is Monday's video. Um, Wednesdays and Fridays will be filmed shortly after this as well. Um, so it is Saturday night, and I'm going to be distracted maybe because right behind me, the Phillies and the Padres are playing uh, the Saturday evening game. And at the moment, the Phillies are down 4-3 to three in only the second inning, believe it or not. So anyway, just a little heads up on that. So today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day. Got this in a recent trade on thetradingcarddatabase.com. This here is a card from the 2004 Donruss product. The Donruss World Series uh, set it was a set of cards released, obviously highlighting various World Series of the past. Uh, this particular one is an insert from that thing. It is not part of the main set. It is part. Of, it's a subset of World Series MVPs. There were um, 16 cards. I'm sorry, 15 cards in the set. This one is MVP number 10, and you can see they were numbered to 1,000, 541 out of uh, 1,000, dang near close to the total number of home runs Mr. Schmidt had. He had 548, and he was the MVP of the World Series in 1980. So that's one I had not had for my collection. Picked that up in trade. Very nice. Today's random baseball item of the day. Interesting card here. 1998. Bowman, Rookie of the Year favorites. So this is a product that Bowman still releases in their um, chrome or regular set. The, the Rookie of the Year favorites, they still do this. And this one is Fernando Tatis. This is Junior's daddy. He was a Rookie of the Year favorite back in 1998. You can see right there, 1998, Bowman, Rookie of the Year favorites. Obviously, he did not win Rookie of the Year. Um, he is not a Hall of Fame contender in any way, shape, or form. It'll be interesting to see now, after the uh, trouble that Junior got in, what kind of uh, impact he will maintain in the sport coming back. So we'll see the follow Junior, see what happens to him after that. Today's trivia question, something I got in a recent break with Kevin's budget card breaks, is a whole bunch of these um, score... Magic Motion Trivia Cards. And um, I'm not going to turn the card over because it's really not a trivia question. It's just a summary of the World Series that is shown on the card front. So obviously this is the 1905 World Series. Interesting fact, the first modern World Series played in 1903 between the American National League, which was won by the uh, Red Sox or the Boston Americans or the Boston Pilgrims. They had a number of different names they went by. Uh, they beat the Pirates, and um, it was actually best of nine that year. Anyway, in 1904, <clears throat> the Red Sox repeated, but the uh, Giants won the National League instead of the Pirates. John McGraw refused to play the American League in a World Series because he felt that they were an inferior league. Uh, so there was no World Series in 1904, 1905, though. Um there was a World Series, so simple question for you. What two teams squared off in the 1905 World Series? Again, if I were to turn this little card over, you'd see it because it's just a summary of what happened in that series. So simple question. What two teams squared off in the 1905 World Series? Your prize. Nice little Topps Fire base product. The Wandered Franco Rookie. Got a couple of these in my break with uh, Mike in Ripping for Rookies the other day. Shout out to Mike over there. And uh, so that prize is up for grabs. If you could tell me what two teams played in the 1905 World Series. All right. Today, quick thing for you. Grab this here. I have a return from um, SGC. I did a uh, submission to SGC. That submission uh, is... Um, 
I submit through a company called Nash Cards. You can look them up online. Maybe I'll, I'll try and put a link in the description below. I submit through them. Uh, I'm not sure if it's any easier to go through them or whatnot, but I usually submit about five per effort you know, just to keep it, um, what do I want to say, just to keep it cheap and, and inexpensive. Slabbing cards is really hard these days, so did five at a time. Here they are. We'll do a quick look-see as to what they are. This one, um, what year is this? 2001, it looks like. Upper, direct, upper Deck Draft Picks. This is the Joe Maurer uh, Rookie or Draft Picks card, whatever you want to call it. Uh, number one in the set that year. Uh, I don't know if Joe Maurer will make the Hall of Fame someday, but he was uh, dang near a... Uh, so it was an all-star at one time. Very highly touted prospect. Very, um, you know, star power kind of catcher, I'll say, at the American League. 2001 draft pick Joe Maurer. What grade did we get? All right, took a nine. Not sure what the problem was, but, you know, these grading card companies will do what they will do. That's how young he looked interesting. Um, God, I got a hair there I can't get rid of. Okay, so this is Joe Maurer. First pick, says. So I'm guessing he was the first overall pick in uh, whatever draft he was in. Maybe it was 2001. There you go, your Joe Maurer. 2001 Upper Deck Draft Pick. Number one. Got it. SGC9. All right, next one. Joey Vato Rookie from Upper Deck. I believe this is the base one because I did pull a, not pull, but I um, submitted a first edition Joey Vato earlier. Came back a, nine, a 10. And this, I think, is just the standard rookie card from Upper Deck in 2000 and, 2008 Upper Deck, actually. You can see here, 2007 is the year listed. So 2008 Upper Deck Series 1. Gets a 9. This is not the first edition version. My first edition version got a 10. So here's a nice SGC 9 Joey Vato. I do believe Joey will end up in the Hall of Fame. He is a fan favorite, a media favorite. All right. So here we have 2018. Raphael Devers. This is the complete set variation card of his rookie card. Uh, I think Raphael Devers will have a standard career. Someday he just might make the Hall of Fame. That's why I'm snagging these cards in grading condition. Uh, so this one actually came out of my set. I actually took the complete set variations out of my factory set. Uh, found the ones that I thought were worth submitting and sent them in. And we got on this one, here you go, a nice 10. Raphael Devers, uh, this is the complete set parallel version. You can see here brown bat. I'm not sure if there was another complete set variation that had a different color bat or something. But this one says Raphael Devers complete set, a brown bat one. Got a 10 on that, SGC 10 on that. Here I have the exact same rookie card, but a holiday edition. Now, I don't think it's the same. It might be the same image. I don't even know. But it's Raphael Devers holiday card. His rookie card from the holiday of 2018. Let's see what we get on this one. Another 10. There you go. It's actually different. This one, this is the complete set version. That's actually his standard, what his standard base card looks like. This is not the complete set variation. This is the standard picture in the card. This wasn't a metal um, parallel, you know, where the snowflakes were kind of a raised thing. This is a standard base from holiday, but a nice looking 10 on that. Lastly... Oops, sorry for the bump. Your Shohei Otani complete set variation. So this is Shohei's rookie card, the complete set variation. He had no stats this year because he actually played in Japan in 2017. So there are no stats at all. What did we get? We got a nice 10 on that one. So there you go. Not too shabby. The complete set variation Shohei with the red what to say says he's pitching with the red glove again I don't know if this is the complete if the complete set variation had a couple different variations that you could snag but this is pitching with the red glove so there you have it just five um, 
SGC reveals for you. I will probably send out another uh, SGC submission to Nash cards in the near future and let you know when they come back. Take a look at them together. All right. Uh, appreciate everybody checking out my channel today. Please consider like, subscribing, commenting, and all that jazz. And uh, please consider, um, please remember that I am running a 300 subscriber contest. If you look back a little while, you'll see the um, video that explains all the rules. I'll actually include a link to that. Uh, I'm kind of begging for people to, to join in only because I had a lot of people join in my last one. And uh, this one, I think I got like two so far, but it's only been a week, so it's still early. I know a lot of people said they're going to put something out there, so hopefully they will. But um, right now, I've only got two people entered, so I want to let everybody know it's here. Take a look. Please come back. I appreciate everybody's support as I try to support everybody else out there, this great car community, this great hobby. So I want to thank you once again for stopping by. Appreciate all your support. Have a good week. Take care.